Hey guys, on this video I'm going to be uh, grilling up a couple um, nice porterhouse steaks and we're, I'm doing something different in that I'm going to be uh, doing a review, like a kind of a product review. Uh, first I'll just cover the steaks, keep it real simple, go over them with a nice coating of uh, coarsely ground sea salt. You know, I want these to get a nice crust on them, so this isn't something you want to eat every day, that's for sure. I mean, I'd like to, but it's just not going to happen. Some fresh ground pepper. My wife's, I'm not going to hit it as much as me. I like my pepper. about do we're just gonna keep this real simple these are really nice cuts real thick see that I mean look at that thing okay now we're gonna take them to the grill and that's where my uh, little review is gonna start all right so here's what I'm reviewing this is the uh, cray court um, cast iron grate for the little smoky um, made by Weber the compact grill um, cool thing is is if any of you've seen my any of my other grilling videos you know that you know I've been using the Cray Court uh, cast iron grate for quite some time and uh, Cray Court actually actually uh, sent me this grate as a gift um, they've embedded a few of my videos on their website so I guess they're showing their appreciation and I really appreciate it anyway so we're gonna get the grilling I've got this thing um, already searing hot um, on these little grates you don't want to use a whole lot of charcoal you know I used a single layer of charcoal it's about 30 briquettes um, you know completely covering the bottom and I've also got some little chunks of red oak in there just to give it a little bit of smoke so like I said before I um, started I went ahead and lubricated the uh, grate with uh, cooking oil with uh, canola oil which you know I do before every cook and after the cook to keep it from uh, rusting after I clean it so anyway, let's get these steaks on All right, um, there you go, they're cooking, obviously. You can hear the sear. Um, I mean, I, I can already tell. This is actually the first time I've used this on my, uh, on my little smoky, but I can tell it's gonna work great. And uh, I'm gonna put the lid on just to extinguish the, uh, the wood there and just, you know, help it get the smoky flavor into the meat. Be back in a couple minutes. All right, so they've been uh, on the grill here for about two minutes, and I'm going to give them just a little turn. And this is more, you know, for aesthetic reasons than anything. I just like to get the crisscross, you know, uh, grill patterns on the meat. And one thing about these cray courts is, you know, they, they come seasoned already, but it's just like a... You know, when you buy a frying pan, a cast iron skillet, or a, you know, a Dutch oven, they come pre-seasoned, but um, they only get better the more you use it. You know, they get more and more seasoned and more and more, uh, you know, stick resistance, I guess you might say. Um, you know, the meat release is a lot easier after, you know, it gets used for a while. I'm gonna let the just keep it like this until the wood ignites again, and then I'll then I'll put the lid on. All right, I never actually had to put the lid back on because the wood didn't catch fire until just about one second before I turned the camera on. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip them. Now on these little smokies, you know the there you go, you can see that. You know you, you the heat source is very close to the meat, so I use the the lid to help kind of prevent the, um, 
you know the flare ups. If it catches on fire, I'll put the lid on long enough just to extinguish the flame, and then I'll take the lid back off. That's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, so I already gave the quarter turn on these. Um, the wood's just been smoldering, so I've left the lid off, and I think they're done. Go ahead and let's just take a peek at the other side here, just to see what. The problem with the T-bone, you know, is it prevents. There you go. See the grill marks. All right. Um, you know, it prevents the meat from completely making contact with the uh, grate, so you don't get the really killer grill marks that you would with like a, you know, a ribeye. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these off, let them rest for a while, and uh, while these are resting, we'll uh, get our side dish going. Okay, for one of my side dishes, what I'm going to do is uh, grill up some some nice uh, Belgium endive. And um, all I did to this was drizzled a little olive oil on it and um, hit it with a little bit of sea salt and uh, ground pepper. If you've never had this, give it a shot. I mean, it's something that I used to just pass up when I saw it in the... Uh, in the vegetable aisle because I just didn't know what the heck it was but really really good really good on the grill it has a nice just a nice clean flavor so and it grills up really good it's gonna grill this a few minutes all right so these things have been on for a while I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give them a turn Few more minutes and we'll be uh, ready to eat. All right, so it's been another like two minutes or so, and these are done. So let's get this plated up and have dinner. All right, so here's the finished meal. Um, for the endive, I like to finish it off with just a little bit of balsamic vinegar drizzled on. Just tastes really good. Let's take a look at the meat here. Very tender. A little fat there. Mm. <clears throat> Hopefully that shows up. Anyway, it's going to be really good.